Let's make two very different currently pages today. And if this is something you would like to see, stick around. Hello everybody, this is Priya here. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning. And if this is the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Here I share tips, ideas and inspiration to make your planner and journal spreads pretty and functional. So today we have two different currently pages that I'm hoping to put together. And you saw the end result, but let's go through this whole process now. So for the first one, it's the October currently page. And I do have all of these sticker sheets from Let's Plan with Sarah. And if you have been in the IG, you know that uh, Let's Plan with Sarah is the name Insta handle and Sarah is the lady behind that. She's a very sweet lady and she's been battling with some of the um, breast cancer and all sorts of things. So there has been a lot going on with her. So we, I was lucky to be reached out by Selena and uh, all the previous reps, the current ones and the past reps were having something in honor of Sarah with the hashtag for Sarah. So this was my spread for that. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen the spread, but uh, the plan with me is just here. So this is just some of that. Sorry, some of the footage seems to have been lost. So the, this was some of the autumn cottage, the cozy autumn or something was the name of the sticker set. And uh, Sarah had gifted it to me last year. And uh, that black washi, the lace washi is from the washi tape shop. And these pink ribbons are all from Live Luck Posh. So I'm just using some of the washi tape from Plan Thing to have these uh, boxes hang so that I can use that as boxes and I'm trying to position the boxes to avoid that girl's head. <laughs> I wanted to bring in that girl because that was from Sarah's shop and the rest of the stickers are not. And uh, that stained glass along with that lace, I think it gives a nice touch. And that is why I decided to combine that. So for planning thing and the washi tape shop, you can use my code PRIYA10. And uh, the shops are all linked below along with all the tools I'm using. So just hanging the boxes before I come and decide on what I can fill in them. And usually this is the, I don't get to decorate it every month but when I do I really love it so that is I took this as an excuse to fill up the currently page and I just use some of the pink ribbons for decorating the girl's skirt and then I'm trying to go through the sticker collection I did not have a whole lot and I definitely don't have any pink ribbon stuff from Sarah so I decided to bring them in from Live Love Posh, but still use a lot of stickers I had from Sarah. So the hashtag was for Sarah and everybody came up with a spread, her current and her previous reps and just trying to throw in a few of the elements here and there before, before uh, I pull the words for the currently page, but just deciding to pick something smaller and then making sure that it does not eat up into the already limited functional space. So just trying to limit to green, I mean, pink and black, and then some green here and there. And then I decide to go for either the glitter boxes or the foiled boxes, but you will see that I, reach for the foiled boxes in the end because I wanted some of that pink color. So there was no a perfect shade 
of pink that I wanted. It was more reds. That is why I did not use the glitter boxes. And uh, yeah, just limiting myself to the foils and anything from Mojo Jojo plants. And this is the last currently sticker book. And my code Priya10 works for Mojo Jojo plants also. And I'm trying to decide on which font in there I should use. And I decide to go with that. And then picking four prompts, but depending on the season, I like to switch it up. Because in the fall, I tend to do more uh, trials with my baking and my Instapot and all that. So I like to note all those down. And of course, the priorities and the birthdays. So the celebrate comes and then some of the fonts, some of the prompts. So just going with very basic ones. And if you saw my flip through in my catch all from January through June, you will see that I do not get to decorate my currently page. It's not something that I make sure I do the month at a glance and the monthly layout, all of those are quite functional. So I end up using that. This is just for decorative purposes and on to the next on to the next month. And you will see both the spreads in detail at the end. So don't worry if you do not have a close look at all the details in the final form. So that is a wood grain washi tape from Journal C. My code Priya works for Journal C and you can get 8% off and you just peel off the backing and I just decided to tear it up and use each half on either, either end of the page, one at the top and one at the bottom and before that I will come and wipe that out. Yeah, trying to decide where I can lay that down. It's very easy. You don't think it is so easy to put together. And that's, I had picked up like a full six pack or something of the different shades of the wood grain. So I'm bringing in all these fall elements. In November, it's more like actual fall, not the Halloween, the harvest and the changing colors, if at all anything is left. For those of you who have the change of colors in your foliage but for me i don't go through any of that so i love to bring in the harvest and the fall colors and i'm using that fall harvest which i have not used much i really this is not a very um, favorite color palette for me but in spite of that i had fallen in love with all the foliage and the deer and uh, all the scenes in there, including the mountains, the all the things that this fall harvest has. So I'm trying to bring as much of that as possible. Again, I got this only last year and I the season had just passed. Again, going for the foils and I'm sticking to black this time so that it will pop against all these neutral colors. So I'm using some of those brown foil. I don't think it's rose gold. It's it looked like those orange foil, the fall colors. <clears throat> so using some of those houses. And then you will see I try to decide which of those trucks because the other ones are all more darker tones, more earthy tones. And this one is actually brighter orange. So I did have to play around a bit before I decided on which I wanted to use. And then using some of the quotes. And then I thought I needed to bring some of that gratefulness aspect as we have the Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, it was a lot of flipping through the sticker book and then I decided to bring those pumpkins. And then when I looked at it, this looked totally off. So 
I decided to switch it for a smaller truck. Again, not that bright. And uh, just doing that seam, completing it at the bottom before I go in for the boxes. So again, I'm having the boxes slightly slanted so that I can use some of those strips, those smaller strip stickers. And uh, that is that deer. I'm using one of the deer and the other one is it, I think it's a stag. And uh, just throwing in some of those fall colors and the foliage. I'm just trying to cut around the box there and yet making sure the deer does not have to move out. And it is, I try to bring in as much of the foliage as possible. I rip that sticker and then I end up gluing it down because some of these uh, clear stickers are really, they have a lot of glue. So it's very easy to damage those stickers, especially these foiled ones and all these specialty ones. So there comes the stag. They could be looking for each other. You never know. So now comes those strip stickers. And let me know in the comments which of these you like more and which of these uh, would be your favorite, would be amongst your favorite colors. And I'm bringing in the alpha, alphas, the fun alphabets from Planning thing to write in OV for November and I'm using those bullet points to have for the priorities and also the birthdays. So now I know that I want to write the currently in there and I did not want to use the sticker. So I'm cutting a piece of the sticker paper and I'm using my Pentel sign brush pen to right currently in the same shade of brown and then cutting it and placing it right in the middle there to the best of my ability i've tried to center it but nothing too crazy and having some of those green things green leaves in fact on there and that should pretty much be it and then i realized that i need to come and add the titles for the boxes so i'm jotting down a few of the things that i would like to note in here please come follow me on instagram i will have all my details down in the description and i will link all the shops and products i mentioned i would really appreciate your support and if you like today's video please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification it really helps me out with the growth of the channel and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.